Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope everyone's having a great day. Today we're going to check out a little bit older figure, but a newer figure to my collection, and that is the Stan Lee Barber from Thor Ragnarok. But before we get into it, I ask if you please drop down, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the little bell for notifications. And if you like more Hot Toys content and 1-6 scale content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Now, as you can see, we have the Stan Lee Barber, and it is a Sideshow exclusive, which with this one figure really doesn't mean a whole lot, just because all the figures were pretty much the same. There was no exclusive, there was no regular version, it was just this version. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get him down off the turntable, and we'll do the unboxing. All right, so here we have the figure. Now, this is the smaller box that it, actually, that it comes in. He actually comes in a lot larger packaging with a nice backdrop. But for the sake of the video, I took him out of that packaging and put him in this box because I just feel it's a little bit cleaner. So you can see we get a nice picture of Stan Lee here on the front. This is the figure. This isn't from the movie. We get the Thor Ragnarok logo there. Nice look there on the side. Stan Lee Barber, Sakaar Planet. We get some cast and crew here on the back. We get his POW media there. We get a side there. And then we are into the unboxing. And you see, not a whole lot. We don't get the nice little insert card that we get with a lot of other figures. But nonetheless, still, if we can get him out of here without damaging the box. It's always the trick with these multi-layered uh, clamshells. There we go. Set that aside. And you can see here we get him in a clamshell. And honestly, this is a lot smaller than what we're used to seeing as far as um, packaging goes. This was a little bit different along with the Stanley Astronaut version where they kind of changed up their packaging a little bit. Thankfully, this isn't what we get in every release because I enjoy the box and the packaging, the box art, things like that. And I feel like this one is definitely lacking in that department. Let's take the top off there. So you can see our first look here at Stan Lee the Barber. Looks really cool. We get a little bit of Thor's hair right there, which would be nice for posing. And you can see here, this is just the, he's got a pair of glasses that I think is in the next um, level of the clamshell. But you can see there, nice likeness of Stan Lee right there. It looks really good. I like the suit, everything like that. Looks really good. We'll take a closer look at the the barber hand and things like that as we go into the figure and do the figure portion of the video but you can see here we get a couple hands we get our base and then there's those glasses that i mentioned earlier so let's go ahead and get all the accessories out and we'll take a look at everything you're going to get all right so here we have the accessories that's going to come with the figure so we get our thor ragnarok style base as we've gotten with all the other thor ragnarok figures it says barber stanley right there Pretty nice. It's got that kind of that distressed style top to it. You see it's got a little bit of gloss on there as it shines off the line. Pretty pretty typical for what we've gotten with the Thor Ragnarok basis. We get our crotch grabber right there. So we do get this long ponytail style hair piece, which when I first saw this, I thought it was going to be sculpted. And I think it would have been better if it was sculpted. Um, because as you can see with mine, it's already started to get some loose strains and things like that which kind of make it look not very good so the claw or the scissors or the blades whatever you want to call them are detachable from the arm and you can see each one of them here spins they all have a little bit of articulate there's no up and down movement but that's the main one there with the larger version and then we have a smaller one blade one that you can just stick right into the arm and maybe if you don't want to have this displayed and maybe it's too big for your spot in your tolf you could stick that in there I'm glad that they added that I think that was really good so here we have his glasses you can see here they're just red framed glasses nothing too special about them and they just kind of slide into um, there's a couple small holes in the side of his sculpted hair they kind of just peg right into so they don't slide up behind the ears like some other figures with glasses have in the past so we get um, two sets three sets of hands excuse me so we get one two three so you do get a right and a left so the the blade arm is completely detachable and then you can just have him with his regular hands on if you wish 
but you can see here these hands look pretty similar to the Stan Lee uh, release that we got a couple years back and we get this one where he's kind of pointing got the detail of the ring there it looks really cool and then of course we get what wouldn't be Stan Lee if we didn't get the spider-man hands web shooter hands and then we get a couple of just kind of semi gesturing hands it's like he's holding something there and then he'd be holding something here I don't know one of these will be for the hair um, maybe the other one would be for um, that looks to me like it's almost like for the pin that comes with the regular Stanley and we will get him out and take do a comparison here just shortly so before we do that let's bring the figure back out here and we'll take a closer look at the figure all right so here we have the figure as you can see here really good likeness to Stan Lee we get this back piece here it looks really cool I left the glasses off for this for this part portion of the review just so you get a really good look at the head sculpt there and we'll take a comparison here of the other one here shortly see the suit his uh, outfit here looks really nice the belt looks really cool I like this little design right here and it's kind of got this material that's uh, ironed on so it's not like a flat piece that that's colored it's raised up on there the under part looks really cool under shirt so articulation wise for his arms eh, you don't really get a whole lot as you can see there and then you get a look here at his the back here it looks really nice he got some brown pants and he's got these kind of dark style uh, tall boots I can tell you right now there is no articulation in the ankles which upsets me but that's okay so head wise you're going to get him to look back about that much down about that much and then side to side as much as you want this is a full neck piece there's no seam right here so it pegs into the ball joint that's down in here in his chest so arm wise that's about as high as you're going to get up and we get our swivel double jointed elbows it goes all the way to there looks really good and then we get our hot toys style wrist pegs there pretty typical for this one we got a good look here at the um, part of the razor blade this is what's actually on his arm this can come off and then you can put just a regular hand on here if you wish to just have him with regular hand now these pieces right here are not detachable and the instructions strictly say do not try to take those off or put pressure on those because those probably will snap off so you want to be careful there chest wise that's about what you're going to get so you can see he's got pretty decent bend there from the pelvic and chest and the waist you got a little bit there a little crunch twist wise not too bad you get you know pretty good and then leg wise pretty typical out to there double jointed knees go all the way back to there like that and then ankle there is absolutely nothing no up no down no side to side and no pivot so you're not, not really going to be super dynamic with him anyways just because he's Barbara Stanley but you know he's going to be standing straight up and down with these boots so let's go ahead and get some accessories on him and let's do a final pose and finish up the video all right so here we have the comparison between the two Stanleys that are in my collection I do not have the astronaut version as I'm working on picking that one up so on the right we have the original Stanley release that was kind of like he was at a comic-con really it was about what it kind of like was um, he come with a jacket and things like that but I've just displayed him in his chair with the white shirt and the pin in his right hand and then of course we have on the left the Stanley Barber from Thor Ragnarok so you can see the Stanley Barber seems to be just a little tiny bit taller um, I do have them both standing pretty level in the light box but he seems to be just a touch taller the head sculpts are just a little bit different as the Stanley on the right you can see his teeth and his grin is a little more open to whereas the Stanley on the left it's a little more closed you don't see any teeth at all as far as that the hairline looks to be pretty similar the skin on his forehead looks to be pretty similar the glasses obviously are a little bit different but the nose and everything looks to be about the same it's just really that mouth that is a little bit different 
So let's go ahead and get another figure out here and we'll set up a little scene. So here we got in one final pose. I got brought uh, Thor, uh, Road Worn Thor from Thor Ragnarok in here. I brought in the man, uh, the Mandarin's chair. Set up a little scene like Stanley is either cut off a big lock of Thor's hair already or he's about to. He's got a big lock of hair there in his left hand. So I uh, appreciate everybody watching the video. That's going to be it for this one. Please uh, like and subscribe if you like more Hot Toys content and 1-6 scale content. Please consider subscribing to the channel. And also please follow me over on Instagram at the Hot Toys Collector. You'll see a lot more photos of Stanley Barber and probably a photo kind of like this as I will be posting some between these two quite a bit. So appreciate everybody watching and as always we'll see you in the next video. Love.